All right, for our project, which we're going to make a dot that represents ourselves or a dot about me, you get to choose which materials you're going to use. So you could use crayons, color pencils, markers, whatever you have at home, which is one of the fabulous things about remote learning. But we're going to fill this dot with things that represent you. All right, you can either print a dot, um, a circle page off the internet, or you could trace one onto your page. One great thing to trace might be a paper plate, a plate, any type of lid. All right, you guys know that my circle tracers in the classroom tend to be lids. Um, so I did mine softly in pencil first, but I just wanted to show you, you might want to trace the outside of your circle. And then you could use whichever materials you want to make a dot that represents you. So a dot that's gonna represent me, I'm going to think of things that are important to me and include them in my dot. So one thing that especially during quarantine that I've gotten into is gardening. So I'm gonna represent that with some plants, some leaves, some flowers. And you don't need all of your items to face exactly the same way. Some could be coming from the side, some can be coming from the top, some can be coming from the bottom. But you're gonna fill your page with things that you like and that you are interested in. And remember, we do want to color with our level four craftsmanship. So even though I might be rushing through this a little bit so that I could get through a demonstration, I want you to make sure that you are coloring the neatest that you can. So that means I'm going to color in things like my leaves and I'm going to add details. Obviously, if it's meant to be white, you could leave it white, but if it's not meant to be white, let's try to color as much as possible and make these nice and bright and beautiful. All right, so I've been gardening, trying to plant some things, grow some things during COVID. Some other things that some of you may know that I'm very much interested in are my dogs. So to represent my dogs, I am going to include some paw prints. I have two dogs. I have one German Shepherd and I have an Alaskan Malamute. They're still kind of puppies. They're um, two and three years old, but they are pretty gigantic. So my German Shepherd is 95 pounds. My Alaskan Malamute is 85 pounds, which means that they are probably bigger than some of you guys. Um, some other things that I enjoy and that I like, things like music, right? And to represent my music, I could do things like drawing a music note. Not quite as professional as Mr. Sparkman, but I try. And I could include some things like maybe I want to include my headphones. because when I'm in a Google Meet or I'm in a meeting with video, I do like to use my headphones so that I can hear a little bit better. But I also color them in, even though the ones that I have are black. All right, you could include things like sports that you like or food that you like which is now making me want to draw some sushi and some pizza because pizza is also another one of my favorites. So I could add some sushi, but I could also add 
some pizza. And I don't want you to stress about being a perfect artist right now. This is a chance for you to express some things that you're interested in, some things that you like so that I can learn a little bit about you. All right, so I want you to just, as one of our class rules, always try your best. So even if you don't think you're an expert at drawing pizza yet, I want you to try your best. Um, you can include things like your family, and you can include things that you, movies that you like, characters that you like, things that you like to do for fun. Um, these are all great things that you could fill. Please make sure to fill your dot as much as possible. I want to learn about you by looking at your dot. And we will share our dots in our Google Meet next week. I can't wait to see them.